it's Charlotte here from charlotteohara.ca and in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to update and edit a banner image in Squarespace. So I have made a demo account here. Uh, you can see that this is just a trial account. This isn't going to go live but for demo purposes this will this will do just the trick. So let's say I have a website here using the demo one as an example, and I want to switch out this background image. So you see this one here of like the mountains and the lake. Eh, let's say I don't really like that and I want to switch it. So to do that, it's very, very simple. So from the main navigation, you're going to go to pages. And then this is where you'll see your pages. And right now we're on the home page. So we're going to edit the background image of the home page here. So where it says home, you're going to toggle over to this icon by clicking on it. And to edit the image, you're going to go click on media. And from here, this is where you can see where the banner or thumbnail image is. So let's say I want to get rid of this one. You're going to click remove. And now it's time to add an image. So what I've done here is I've just pulled up Upsplash, which is a great resource for tons and tons of free stock photography, but feel free to use one of your own. And I've downloaded an image here, which is what I'm going to upload. So I'm going to click on that, go to downloads, and there we go. And it is uploading right now. So then once it's uploaded, I'm going to show you as well how you might want to reposition it to switch around where the focus of the image is. So you'll see what I mean in just a second. All right, so you see this little image focal point here, which is the circle icon. You can move this around and drag it, and this will be great if you want to switch where the focus is. Um, one thing I'll say though, is don't try to pull it too far up in one of the corners or close to the edges, because then there's just nothing, there's nothing left on either side to reposition around, and you're always gonna want you know, kind of a square or rectangle shape. So try to keep it somewhat in the middle, give or take, and that will have the best focal point. If you want to edit the image kind of in a bit more of a Photoshop style, you just click the edit button. And this is where you can do things like crop it, resize it, uh, switch around with the lighting, give it a cool new filter, anything like that. Um, so pretty cool. I'm just going to save that exit out. And now it is saving here for me. And you'll see that the background image on my imaginary demo website has been switched. And that's it. That's how simple it is to do, to upload it, to make a few edits, switch it around. Um, very, very simple to do. And it, you know, really packs a punch when you switch it out from the template default images. You really want to make your website your own. So again, uh, my name is Charlotte O'Hara and you can visit my website at charlotteohara.ca. And if you like this video tutorial, feel free to hit the red subscribe button down below. Thanks so much. Bye.